I'm here with Michael Wood, CEO of Rainago. Welcome, Michael. Thanks, Jen. Good to be here. Well, I heard you had a, quite a journey back to Hong Kong. So uh, right now you you just uh, back back home, yeah, in quarantine. Yeah, yeah. I've been on the road for six weeks. So I got a week in quarantine and finally finally get home. So yeah, good, great trip. It was great being in Mexico and North America and, and the UK briefly. Um, so great to be on the road, meeting investors, being at the project with the, with the team. Uh, so yeah, very happy with the trip and yeah, but um, great to be home and hope the market kind of calms down over the next few months. And uh, I mean, gold's hanging in there, but, which is good, but just a bit of a risk off uh, appetite recently in, in the sector. Yeah, this morning we have the ATP. ATP data is much weaker than expected, right? The expectation was 300,000 that came in like 120. And then last week was was revised down again, and then we just we just saw the gold just took off, and then a lot of the gold juniors were hit very very hard in the past few months, right the gold included. So I I think right now it seems to be we're just talking about that you have like a ten million market cap with uh, nine million cash, it's, and with all these are great project, Peter McGraw and all these are great GG are working on those exciting projects. Maybe tell us a little bit more. But it seems like a great entry point for new investors. Yeah, exactly, Chan. I mean, I think unfortunately, you know, we've had a risk off environment. I think some people have just, you know, gone to cash at kind of any cost. In some cases, you know, maybe margin calls or whatever. But we're definitely we've had some heavy selling. Unfortunately, I think our stock has stabilized and yeah, given a very attractive entry point. I mean, um, just to give an update, we're, we're, we're at Gloria. We're doing a ten thousand meter drill permit at Gloria. And really, this focus of this initial program is to show the district scale of this property, 24,000 hectare property. We're starting, we're drilling two targets at the moment. We're going to start on the third target, La Republicana, within two weeks. We'll get our first hole. It's all planned. There's three holes planned for Republicana. And then also, we want to get down to another target called San Pedro, La Quintas, La Quintas West, which is actually where the most historic production came from on the property. We're now ready to drill there. We have uh, permits in place for that part of the property. And they're very excited about that. There's a lot of big mag highs, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to that shortly in that part of the property. A lot of big historic mines there. Literally, we've got addicts running right through the mountain down there in San Pedro from the Spanish time. So I'm um, delighted to be bringing on these two new targets. But uh, ongoing drilling in main zone and uh, Asombrero, and very happy with what we're finding. We're finding what we want to see. We're finding a lot of quartz veining hosting gold. We're finding breaches. So, you know, the aim is to build up multiple deposits close to surface initially uh that's the initial strategy but we have actually started to put in a few deeper holes to start understanding the system where we're drilling in our sombrero actually some of the holes we were planning for 200 meters to go a bit deeper but actually we did a couple 300 meters plus because we're kind of happy with what we're seeing coming out so definitely very happy with what's going on on the ground the team's doing a great job uh starting to understand a system a lot better that's hosting uh, the, the, the mineralization or, or actually systems we definitely think we're in a situation where there's been multiple phases of mineralization here at different times and in, in slightly different structures so very happy what's going on in the scenes just not on, on the market really so yeah it's <laughs> but a crazy change market. Very quickly. Yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> what, what happened in historically what what did you have them how deep were they exploring uh, before. Yeah, it's, it's it's very historic working in Spanish times. So I mean, look, we found addicts uh, going literally right through the mountain uh, down in San uh, San, uh, San Pedro, and uh, then we're finding shafts down to 40, 50 meters deep, which again okay. is very deep for Spanish times. Yeah. So the fact the Spanish were going down so deep shows they were getting high grade mineralization. So, um, you know, we've found over 40 properties, 40 historic workings now on the property. The team keep finding more. Um, so delighted with kind of what we're seeing at surface and the understand the greater understanding we're getting of, of, of the property and the systems there. Okay, so you have some very interesting uh, trench sample at the surface recently, right? Yeah, yeah. And what 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 was interesting about that was it wasn't just gold. You know, we're starting to find interesting copper, silver values in this Al Sombrero part of the property where we, we've been drilling. We just completed eight holes there in Al Sombrero now. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're finding decent grade copper and silver surface. Uh, and, and, you know, definitely we're looking there where we've got a polymetallic system uh, with multiple phases of mineralization. So it, we didn't expect that when we first started working on the property. We thought it was pure gold. We thought it was orogenic, you know, just primary gold, but definitely interesting parts of the property, 
are definitely starting to uncover copper and silver. And as you know, Sonora is a, is a great copper state, the biggest producer of copper in, in Mexico. So it's an interesting development that's occurred yeah, in, in the Asombrero target area of the last kind of month or so. Wow, great. So you mentioned you have some uh, drill results. Uh, you're, you already drilled eight holes. So when the, the drill results will come out? Yeah, coming, out? Chen. Uh, we're actually using, a, 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 we're starting to send samples to another lab. I think, um, unfortunately, we've experienced more delays than we initially expected. LAS is, is sending the staff up to Vancouver to be essayed. So we're starting to use Skyline, uh, who, who do the, the essays in Tucson, see if we get a bit to quicker turnaround because it, it's, it's quite a, it, it's problematic for us, right? Is, as people know, you want to get the, the essay back as soon as you can, not only to be updating the market, but understanding what the results are like so you can be reactive in your drill, drill, drilling. Um, so yeah, we're, we're trying a new lab and hopefully we do get quicker turnaround because it's, it's a problem. It's not as quick as we were hoping. So, um, yeah. yeah, so uh, what, yeah. what time frame we are talking about in the next uh, two, three months or maybe sooner? Oh, no, no, well, hopefully a lot sooner than that, Chan. I mean, let's uh, uh, once we get a decent batch back, we, we'll, we'll, we'll get out to the market. I would say within a month, hopefully, we have a, another batch coming. Uh, uh, kind of, uh, you know, we don't want to put out just a few holes, but if we kind of have the next, and we put out eight, if we get another eight or ten. Um, I think we'll put them out in, in kind of the next, uh, hopefully within the next month, it would be great to get them out before, you know, people go off on their summer break. Wow, that's excellent. And hopefully, you know, in P PDAC or just around in, you know, in this month. Yeah. Wow. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah. It would be great to, to do that. And, you know, I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's important that we keep, keep uh, updating people and we, we want to do that, but it's, it's, it's not been as quick as we're hoping on, on, the, on the essays, unfortunately. Right, right, yeah. All the lab, the backup, that, that's understandable. So with your almost 9 million uh, cash in the bank, mm -hmm. how long did they uh, lead you to uh, the runway going forward? Well, our burn rate at drilling, we're drilling, have been since uh, February, is about half a million Canadian a month. So, you know, we're well positioned to get through this year uh, at this rate, uh, well into next year. I mean, let's see. Potentially, we'll increase the drilling later in the year uh, if we start a home in on a, on a specific target or two. Um, but we are very well positioned from a cash perspective. It's great. To, it's really great to have the cash in this environment because, yeah, it's, the market has, has gone a lot softer. So, yeah, we're delighted to have the cash, be well capitalized and give us that flexibility in the, in the exploration of this big property um, to really explore it properly and, you know, make a discovery. That's the main aim of Rainer Gold, make a substantial discovery. Oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah, right now the market is so dysfunctional. We, we talk about you're trading very close to cash level and then giving all these uh, property basically for free for the current investor who uh, was willing to get, take a little bit of risk. Yeah, exactly. And good results, I think, are stuck good, you know. And then you have drilling results. Yeah, yeah exactly. you have drilling results, hopefully, in a month. I mean, it's just yeah. a very, very good situation, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that people, that are, you know, it takes time making a discovery. And the, the, the sector is very volatile, the ups and downs. But, yeah, exactly. I think when you get opportunities like this, it, it's a time to take, take that risk and, and get in take a position and a uh, very good chance you make a good return from this kind of entry point. Okay, great. Finally, can you talk about the management and technical team of, um, of Yeah, the of course. Yeah, so it's, uh, you know, the management is, I'm the CEO and then Jorge is, is a chairman. And, you know, we set up Rain and Silver together. We're, we're, we work in Hong Kong with Marco also on Cassia Gold. So, um, you know, very happy with the way things are going from, from, from the capital market perspective, you know, raising the capital, we, we, we just did a board deal on Cassiar and doing a small financing on, on Rainer Silver. So we still have access to capital. And from the technical side, you know, we're delighted with the work on the ground that the team's doing under the guidance of Peter McGall and Doug Cohen, you know, two world-class judges. We, we're very fortunate to have involved in the property and love the potential of the property. You know, they really see the potential. You know, we, we're, we're in, the, in, in the, the biggest gold producing area in Mexico, right by La Herradura, the biggest gold mine in Mexico. So uh, it's a vastly underexplored property. Uh, we believe uh, a lot of potential on the property and the team is you know, finding more and more good targets. You know, the focus, a lot of field work, a lot of field observation, sampling, mapping, uh, defining these, these dual targets on this substantial property. I, I've just been there and we'll put out a video shortly at my site visit, Chan, and just to really show people the scale, uh, the vastness that we have and, you know, 
we're finding gold all around this property. It's not like we're just finding it in, in one or two parts. We're finding it in multiple parts of the property, which really excites the team, uh, showing we're on potentially a very big system. Oh, excellent, excellent. So tell us how do we uh, investors want to reach you in the future? Yeah, please. Any questions, reach out. Michael, my email is michael at rainergold.com. Uh, yeah, always happy to jump on a call with, with interested parties. Love talking about Rainer Gold. So yeah, please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. And um, I, I won't be at PDAC, actually. I've just been on the road for six weeks. So unfortunately, I won't be there. But Jorge will be there. And we, we have a Rainer Silver, Rainer Gold booth at PDAC. So if anyone wants to go and have a chat, Ariel will be there, VP of Expression uh, with, our IR, with our IR team. And so... Yeah, please, uh, any interest, uh, any any questions, please reach out. Uh, always delighted to chat about Rain of Gold and what we're doing. Okay, great. Thank you. I'll be there and uh, check out your booth. Nice talking to you, Michael. Hopefully next time we'll talk about a very different share price and yeah. maybe a major <laughs> discovery in our hands.